What is up? It is Denise Draven, and I know I look a little bit freaky right now. I have no eyebrows. I decided to remove them with glue because I wanted to kind of do like a high arch witch eyebrow. And I let my eyebrows grow in a lot, so I can't really do that. Back then, that half my eyebrows were gone, I was able to do that. But <laughs> I had to cover them. And it looks okay, but I think once we put the paint on it and then cover it with like higher arch eyebrows, it looked a lot better. So. So yeah, so I already covered my eyebrows with glue, some red lipstick, and foundation. Of course, before that, I had applied the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And I'm, I actually just applied the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer onto my eyelids. So pretty much, I'm already all prepped and primed, ready to go, ready for the face and body paint. So I guess let's dive into tutorial now. Okay, so we're going to be diving into this Mehran palette. It's water activated paint. It's a Paradise Makeup AQ 8 color palette, and it's a basic. Um, I might actually have to run and get my, my white because I might mix some of the green. But anyways, we're going to be diving into this green mostly. We also might be mixing white into it, so let me go grab that real quick. Okay, so here's the white. It's really messy, I guess, because I've been dipping, mixing it with like, other colors. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but whatever. So basically, we're dipping this little foundation brush into some water I have here since they're water activated. And I might also be blending it with a little beauty blender, um, so so that way the paint line don't look so streaky. Okay, so next I'm using the Norina Volume 3 palette. And we're gonna be diving into this shade C3. And I'm basically gonna take like a big foundation brush and I'm gonna carefully dip it into that. And I'm gonna apply it like pretty much like set the body paint, just to make it look more even. Pretty much all of my face and my chest. Okay, so next I'm going to contour my face and I'm using the Norina Volume 2 palette. And I'm going to be diving into the shade E3 and I'm using this for contour. Okay, so next I'm using the Novena Volume 2 palette again, and we're going to be diving into the shade E5, which is black. And I'm using this to darken up my contour just a little bit more. I feel like this green, this green was like really bright, as y'all can tell, and that looks really crazy, so we're just going to add a little bit black, just to darken it. Okay, 
Okay, so next I'm going to be using the Norvina Volume 2 palette again, and this time I'm going to dive into the shade B1. I'm going to be using the shade for maybe like kind of like highlighting, not really cream, we're going to do more highlighting later of course with the highlighter, but just to kind of like bring out some face features to make the face look more three-dimensional. Um, so I'm going to look so flat because I feel like the body paint or the face paint makes the face look flatter. I'm going to kind of be like applying this like on my cheekbones and like underneath my eyes a little bit, um, on my chin, probably like underneath. My contours to sharpen it, and maybe a little bit my forehead as well. So I'm going to contour my nose using the same shades I use for contour. Also, of course, I'm going to highlight it with the lighter green shades as well. I just kind of make my, I just kind of want to make my nose look a bit, look a little bit slimmer, a little bit more witchy-like. So yeah. into the eyeshadow and I'm using the Norvina volume 3 palette and I kind of want to go for like an orange eyeshadow I was actually just planning on doing this orange Halloween -y eyeshadow look but then I was like why don't I just be a green witch with orange eyeshadow so that's what we're doing today I'm be starting off with the shade A2 and I'm pretty much gonna blend like all of my eye Okay, so next I'm using the shade A5 from the Novena Volume 3 palette. And I'm kind of apply it like over what I just recently, just previously applied. Okay, so next I'm kind of increase using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer. Okay, so next I'm using the Norvina Volume 3 palette again. And we're going to be diving into the shade E5. And I'm kind of applying this one like all over the cut crease I had just created. Lining the crease using C4 from the Norvina palette. I'm just gonna get a small angled brush and kind of line a little bit along here, just like how I did in this eye, and then blend it up into the glitter and the orange, I guess.
from the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. And I'm going to be diving into the shade Ultraviolet Amethyst, which is basically a purple highlighter shade. And I'm applying it onto the inner corners of my eye. Okay, so next I'm using the Norina Volume 3 palette. And we're diving into the shade B4. I'm gonna be applying the shade underneath my eyes and be blending it out, maybe like into the upper wing as well. So I'm diving into the shade C4, and I'm applying this underneath my eyes as well, kind of blend it into. I'm not gonna blend it out as much as the previous shade I had planned before. Kat Von D's Lemmy lip liner on the water lines of my eyes. Okay, so next I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Out Pomade in Granite. And I kind of want to draw like some thin, high arched eyebrows, very witchy, so yeah. Okay, so next I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Alchemist palette again. And we're going to be diving into the shade Emerald, which is the green shade right here. And I'm trying to highlight underneath my eyebrows. I already applied it underneath this one already, as y'all can see. You see, I had originally thought it was filming while I was playing this, and it wasn't, so I'm going to do it again. Okay, so next I'm applying Kat Von D's Witches liquid lipstick onto my lips. Nothing's perfect. Also, the name's perfect. And it's black lipstick, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so next I'm using the Kat Von D Alchemist palette again, and we're diving into Emerald, of course. And I'm basically just gonna put highlight on my cheekbones, maybe like a little bit on my nose, and that'll be it. Okay, so next I'm applying some lashes, and I'm using the Shop Mimi Artistry in Weirdo Two. She had recently sent me these and I love them so much. I have the first weirdo, so I just, or just a weirdo, and these are weirdo too, and I love them. They're so big and like fluffy. <laughs> they're definitely for dramatic looks, and they're perfect for the spooky season. Um, I also do have a discount code for this shop, so make sure you do check them out. I have a link down below in the description box. It's Shop Mimi Artistry, and my discount code is Denise5. So make sure you do check out shop, and if you do make a purchase, make sure you use my code to save some extra money. But anyways, so I'll be playing these off camera, and I'll be, I'll be right back to you guys. Okay, so I want to do something a little bit more extra. Um, I want to add some black glitter onto my lips to make my lipstick more glittery, more shimmery. Um, we're going to be using Black Mage's black glitter. I'm not even sure the name of this. It doesn't have a label on it, but I do have a discount code at the shop. Um, it's Denise underscore Draven, I think. I have it down below in the description box. Um, I also have a link to their website, so make sure you check it out. They should be relaunching pretty soon. It might be up by the time this video is up. So we'll see. And also, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glitter Adhesive to adhere it to my lips. Okay, 
Okay, so my camera had died, so while I was charging it, I had actually applied some bottom lashes. And these are from a 99 cent store in there called Mermaid Glance. They're, they're, they're not bad for like 99 cents. I mean, it came with two pairs, and they're okay. I just don't like how shiny they are, but other than that, it's pretty fine. Also, I did not really recommend wearing a whole thing of lashes on your eyes, especially with the top lashes and contacts in your eyes, because I feel like my eyes are just, it, they feel very puffy right now, you know, they're not. They're just kind of, just so much is going on but under my eyes that my eyes feel really tiny. Like, it feels like I have an allergic reaction and my eyes are just getting really puffy and I like, just can't see, so. I think this looks really pretty though. I mean, despite it being uncomfortable, it looks really pretty. Like, with the top lashes, they're really comfortable by themselves. But then once I added the bottom ones, that's when I don't wear bottom lashes. So maybe that's why I'm just not used to it. I remember when I first started wearing lashes, um, it was like this. But I can literally see them. Um, so that is it for today's makeup tutorial. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking it out. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I usually post like a bunch of like other makeup stuff or like sneak peeks of my videos, like all my stories and a bunch of different stuff on my Instagram. I got this witch hat like maybe like two, three years ago at like Pier 1. Um, and I had, I actually had been planning on doing like a green witch look with this hat, but it just, it's been... I've never got, obviously I haven't gotten around to it till now. Um, of course, um, Anastasia, they sent me to New Palace and it kind of like, I don't know, I was just going to film like a simple glam Halloween eye look and then I was like, you know, I kind of want to step it a little more, do it even like cooler, something I haven't been wanting to do in a while that I could probably use new palettes for and I was like, why don't I just paint myself green and be a witch, <laughs> you know? So here I am. Also, my nose is like really runny right now, and this is a bad time because like this face paint is water activated, and it will come off if my nose is running. So that's not fun. Like I already like I have painted like the inside of my nose, and it's really coming off. So, okay, so that is it for today's video. So thank you guys so much for checking it out. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Also make sure you hit that notification bell to get more. No, I get no notifications whenever I do post. I hope you guys have a wonderful and safe Halloween. If you guys do recreate this look, make sure you tag me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook wherever you post this look or your makeup. So stay safe out there, you guys. Bye. Bye.